Georgia demands clarification from U.S. regarding financing for preparation of unrest. The United States needs to provide clarification on the issue of funding by the Agency for International Development, USAID, for training in Georgia with the participation of Serbia citizens who prepared the residents of the Republic for the overthrow of the government in 2023. The chairman of the ruling Georgian Dream Democratic Georgia Party, Irakli Kobakidzi, said, as it turns out, the overthrow of the government is financed by the United States Agency for International Development, which is called USAID, which means US assistance. But this is not assistance from the United States, it seems to me. Of course, we will need clarification on this. Why did USAID fund such training, the direct purpose of which was to prepare a revolution in Georgia? Kobakitsi said at a press briefing. Speaking of the Georgian parliament, Shalva Papuashvili called information about USAID financing of revolutionary processes in the Republic a dark day in the history of American assistance provided to Georgia. This marks a dark day in the history of USAID to Georgia. As we see, the money of the American people is used here to plan some kind of revolutionary process in order to purposefully prepare people for unrest and provocation of violence. It's a shame that the American people's money is involved in this, he told reporters. In a statement released by the State Security Service of Georgia, said three Serbian trainers who were brought to Georgia to participate in a program funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development were actively recruiting activists with the intent of orchestrating the violent overthrow of Georgia's lawfully elected government. State Security Service of Georgia said these trainers are affiliated with the Center for Applied Nonviolent Actions and Strategies. State Security Service of Georgia stated that on September the 25th, 2023, Serbian citizens Sinisa Sikman, Jelina Stosic and Slobodan Jinovic arrived in Georgia at the invitation of the East-West Management Institute, which the USAID funds.